Here we're looking at persimmon. It's in the family Ebenaceae, the genus Diasporus, and the specific epithet is Virginiana. So Diasporus virginiana is persimmon. Let's take a closer look at some of its characteristics. One of the first things to recognize is the bark. It breaks into these little kind of almost square rectangular trunks and gives it what looks like to me almost a, a, a scaly bark like an alligator scale or something of that nature. And if you look inside these uh, fissures here you can see that it's a little bit orange just to the inside otherwise it's this sort of ashen gray color but fairly distinct bark and it starts to check into this pattern even when the tree is fairly small in diameter. The twig and the, the leaves and buds are arranged alternately as you move up the stem. Here you can see the buds just forming their kind of in between green, green and a sort of uh, darker brown or blackish almost in color. Um, and you can see that they kind of go off to a side a little bit so you might get a bit of a zigzag appearance as this grows and develops. The leaves are single and simple leaves, dark green on top and a lighter green underneath, and it has a smooth or entire margin. Narrower at the base and at the tip, coming to a little bit of a point. While the tree is not usually planted for its flowers, it does produce a fairly good sized fruit. This is the persimmon, or this is uh, still ripening up. They're green and pretty hard when they're still developing and ripening. Once they're fully ripe, they'll be a, usually an orange color and they'll start to be very soft. And once they get wrinkled and soft, that's when they're ready to be eaten. If you eat it now, it would be extremely astringent, hard to get into, even once it turns orange, until it starts to wrinkle, maybe after a first frost or it's, it's cooled down at night. Um, the fruit is, for most people, too astringent, meaning it makes your lips pucker uh, as you try to eat it. But pretty remarkable fruit and a good reason to plant this. The persimmon is typically a single trunk with a narrower crown. Here you can see two or three of them in the frame. And as you go up, it doesn't have a very broad crown the way we saw in some of the oaks.